Hello, my name is Friesel Lorscheider. Today we would like to talk about the latest news if it comes to DT Swiss hybrid wheels. Exactly, I'm talking about hybrid utility wheels. Since the introduction of the first e-mountain bike specific wheels in 2017, the e-bike market in general developed quite a lot. This means for DT Swiss that we need to adapt constantly our product portfolio to the market. Today with me is Niels Verhoeven, not just member of our product management team, but as well himself a very ambitious cyclist. Exactly. Hi, Friso. Thank you for being here, Niels. When DT Swiss started to develop e-mountain bike specific wheels a couple of years ago, e-urban bikes like the Stroma, like the Flyer, were already well established into the market, especially in Germany and Switzerland. So why did the Swiss started with e-mountain bike wheels? As you explained, um, the whole e-bike boom started with pedelecs in the e-touring segment and then developed itself into also the e-mountain bike category. And when these appear in the market, we saw some issues with uh, traditional components. And um, yeah, then we, we had the idea of e-bike specific components and um, that was the birth of hybrid components. And what changed since then? Um, I think a lot of things changed since then. So on the one hand, it's the different categories that um, appear. So we see a diversification of the market, like the e-touring developed into e-SUV, also in e-cargo, e and also the e-mountain bike segment um, developed into um, e-performance mountain bikes, e-light mountain bikes, and so on. Uh, so this is the one thing, and on the other hand, we have um, new customers, uh, more customers, so uh, sales numbers are growing and growing, and we have um, a, younger, um, a younger customer, um, which has new needs maybe than before. So you mean the demands for the e-bikes themselves and the components being used increased a lot since then? Exactly. These new categories, uh, for example, uh, bring also new needs to the components itself. Um, and this is what we are facing right now. And what, what does this mean and where are and what are the needs and demands of the customers? Um, when we were talking about hybrid utility, um, we not just asked our customers, but also our service centers and also um, our dealers. And there we saw a need for um, for a wheel that can last very long and also last uh, higher loads. Um, and there we had the idea about uh, hybrid utility. And um, these surveys and the feedback from customers, how did you translate with your team those demands into the development process of the new product? So for this category, we had the goal of a wheel or to create a wheel that has a maximum system weight of 180 kilograms. And beside focusing on, the, on our hubs, our hybrid hubs with the Ratchet Allen system, um, we, we focus especially on the spokes, the spoke tension and the rim. So um, to create this wheel, um, we set ourselves the goal to have a wheel that um, where the spoke tension never drops to, to zero. Um, and we reached that with our hybrid specific um, spokes with a 2.34 millimeter spoke head, so reinforced spoke, also a re reinforced rim with a bigger cross section um, to prevent the rim itself to deform while rolling, um, and a higher spoke tension. So all of all these three things together um, reach then our, or reach then our goal. Yes, that seems to be then really a good choice, especially for motor-assisted urban bike use or for customers using their bikes as so-called SUV ones. Exactly, we really focused on these customers and that's also why this new category is named Hybrid Utility. And, and what's the exact name of the, of the product we're talking? So in this category, we only have one wheel which is called Hybrid Utility or HU 1900 Spline. Um, and it's coming in 29 with a 20, 25 millimeter inner width and also in 650B with a 35 millimeter inner width. And when will it be in shops or on bikes available? 
It will be um, within the next few days, weeks, months uh, in, in the shops. Um, yeah, in the current situation, it can take some time. That's, that's ex clear. Exactly, but you can find these wheels then in, in bikes in the shops. So we are shipping them. Exactly. Cool. So thank you for being here, for joining me today, Niels. Thank you for the information. Thank you, Friso. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to get more information about DT Swiss products or details about the products, please go on our website, dtswiss.com. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you soon again. Bye.